So are you going to cleanse the skin first? Yes, I'm just going to use just a, a little wipe to do this um, because you haven't got makeup on already. Okay. Product, so it'll give you a, a long-term effect rather than just a cosmetic product that would be, you know, an immediate effect. But um, well, actually, this gives both. So today I'm using it because it gives a lovely um, smooth finish to the skin. Right, so now we're going to move on to a little concealer. So mm -hmm. I've left around the eyes free of foundation. Because um, I've got quite sort of, you can see my veins quite heavily, can't you, under the eyes? Like well, it's just because the, the texture around eyes generally is really fine. If you look straight up for me there. And so, um, you know, any any heavier based textured products just don't, don't work around there. So a nice, good coverage, light textured concealer works really well. Especially one with a bit of highlighter in as well. If you can get a you know a dual purpose product, then that's great for rounding eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit underneath here and a little on the lids too. So if you close, oh, here we go. I'm just going to use a really pale pink just across the lid to give us a, a little halo of colour here. And the idea with this look is that. Yeah, everything is you know beautifully defined but what we're really going to go for is a stronger look on the on the lips okay so kind of you one or the other i i think i mean that's the safest option yeah a bit like legs or cleavage <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> lips or eyes <laughs> exactly. across the lids which will give it give them a really lovely sheen and it's in a gorgeously nude colour. In fact, it's called Naked. So for me, um, layering is key where makeup is concerned to get it to look like, you know, realistic and give it body and give it volume and to give it long lasting. Is to work into the socket line, just a little crease when you've got your eyes open. And I'm going to use just a really discreet colour, which is a matte shade, um, which is a kind of really soft brown, like a pinky brown kind of. But the idea is that it doesn't really look like eyeshadow, it just looks like shadow, so it enhances the shape of your eye. And be worked into the lashes, just into the V shade, which is brilliant. So is this almost like a softer way of underlining the eye, yeah. rather than an eyeliner? Yeah, yeah. I think today because we've got a bit of strength on the top and we're going to have the stronger lips I just want it to be soft underneath it's important that there's something there mm. or it'll um, it actually closes the eye if there's nothing underneath there so just a little bit of depth but, but what I really just want it to look like is skin really I don't really want you to see any product on there at all just a, a transparent color so mascara some good lashes Lashes are always really important to uh, create a really glamorous look. So if you look straight up and close your eyes for me there, what I'm going to do is to use a, a primer first, which will really double up the volume and help to really separate the lashes. To get this in the right place, you want to apply into the middle of the, the lash line first, and then we stick the sides down. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, but again at home when you do it, don't, don't actually close your eyes. You just look straight forward into the mirror and look down a little bit and place them on the top. Right, so that's going in at the middle and then I'm going to stick the end down. Stick. And stick into the inner corner just there. And then if you can just open your eyes for me there. Wow. And then just look down, but don't quite close them. Stick, stick, and then you just press this along the line. So now that I've had my lovely makeup artist do I1, <laughs> I'm going to try and prove that you can do it yourself by doing I2. Now, if this goes wrong, you can take it off and redo it, can't you? Uh, yes, I can do, okay. but it won't go wrong, don't worry. So I'm looking in the mirror, I'm looking yeah. down, but not with the eye closed. Yes, please. And just put it close to the lash line. Close to the lash line as you can get it. And in the middle. Yeah, and it's on in the, the middle. And then I'm going to put it on at one edge and on at the That's it. other. Yeah, you get 
in and then on the top you go from the inside out so the darker areas here in the corners really help to make this part of the lip recede a little bit and mm. then the brighter in the centre brings that forward so you get this plump really luscious pouty look to the lip 